In the west of Zhongshan, Guangdong, there's a village with a history of 700 years, Changzhou Village. It's the hometown of most Zhongshan people whose surname is Huang. It's also the base of a drunken dragon, a lesson of intangible cultural heritage. 万鼎中间罗寄卿，人家环绕住生平。客厅浮竹虽烟雨，常有渔歌牧笛声。荒唐 ，the poet of the Yuan Dynasty described Changzhou in this way: "At the end of Song Dynasty, my ancestor Huang Jinzai settled down in Changzhou. Therefore, our Huang clan began to live here. They rooted down." In the Yuan Dynasty, spread it out in the Ming Dynasty, and、uh, they flourish in the Qing Dynasty, lasting for 25 generations. Till now, the descendants are still seeking for their roots. Every year, before and after Qing Ming Festival. They get together from all over the country to offer sacrifice to their ancestors. On the early morning of May 1st, more than 300 members of Changzhou Huang clan from home and abroad assemble at the entrance to the village. They try to go bus to the Xinhui, Duyuan, Taishan, and Banfu, offer sacrifice to their ancestors. Huang Hua Guo, who came back from Hong Kong to pay respects to his ancestors, is the writer of the general affairs of Zhongshan Overseas Chinese Chamber of Commerce. He returned to Changzhou three days in advance, preparing for the event. Huang Hua Guo, I was in 1962. I had already left Zhongshan, and I went to Hong Kong. Ah, in Hong Kong, I did a lot of things. 黄花果 came to the entrance of village in the advance. He greeted villagers warmly. The villagers all kindly called him Hua Guo. 喺杭州茶有我哋好趣事，好百厭係，因為當啊當時個個好懷著嘅，就算係啲呢對以前咧學校嚟嘅係，咁啊我哋都喺燕州書院讀書嘅，嗱咁啊周圍走啊，咁啊啊啊爬山啊，周圍打石仗啊，咁啊專做一首歌，當時邊有咁多手機玩啊，咪打嗰啲拗叉嗰啲，啊射彈弓啊嗰啲咁嘅嘢咯，東山走啦。世乱同南去，时清独北还。他乡生白发，九国见青山。After the Opium War, to make a living, more of them went overseas. After the reform and opening up. Some of the villagers went out to work, and with the increase of migrant workers in the village, the Changzhou village is no longer dominated by Huang clan. In Chinese society, ancestor worship carries the meaning of honoring history, cherishing the memory of the ancestors, and strengthening the bond of relatives. In the patriarchal clan system of ancient China. It's an indispensable ceremony. Two days later, a lively activity Buddha festival with drunken dragon show is coming. This is a great event for the people of Changzhou once a year. The eighth day of the fourth month of the Chinese ruler calendar, Buddha festival, originating in the reign of one the emperor of the Ming Dynasty. To memory the birthday of Buddha Sakyamuni, in Buddha's day, the tomb of Changzhou Drunken Dragon parades on the streets in village. 
in order to protect against evil spirits. Legend has it that the drunken dragon dancers can bring prosperity to the streets they pass. Bless the people in the village good weather. Everything is smooth. This custom lasted for hundreds of years in Changzhou until the Cultural Revolution when the drunken dragon was destroyed accusing it of superstition. Uh Drunken Dragon as a unique folk culture of Chongshan. There's no consensus about the origin of it. Most of the folk tend to believe two teams are authentic inheritors. One is from Love Fort, the other is from the West Village. Therefore, you can see two different Changzhou Drunken Dragon teams. The team from Western Changzhou Village starts from the Ho Wang Temple. Before departure, Huang Zhuo Gen, the prestigious inheritors of Drunken Dragon, holds on a flame lighting ceremony. Then, with gong and drums beating, dancing and drinking, the drunken dragon dance begins. Several strongmen holding a wooden dragon, dancing in drunken way with the beat of gongs and drums. Like floating on water, they staggered. The whole wooden dragon was dancing in the man's hands. Their servos pig has sacrificed in front of the whole one temple. The drunken dragon team after parade will go back here and have a bit of pork in order to get good luck. Nowadays, Uncle Gun becomes older and older. The team of Drunken Dragon has been handed over to his son, Huang Jinjian. In addition to leading the religious Drunken Dragon team, he also set up a Drunken Dragon class in the nearby Central Primary School in the Western region. They want to use this way to pass down the native drunken dragon of Zhongshan. When Jinzhen becomes older and he can no longer weave the wooden dragon, he hopes his son will manage the drunken dragon team. Meanwhile, on Buddha's day, the other team is fully equipped and ready to go. With the thunderer rolls, the drunken dancing, drinking, and drunk. All these moves are straight. The drunken dragon team from Changzhou Love Fort sets out from the ancestral temple. Their skills can taste Lan Chen Kung Fu, drunken boxing, juggling. The performers are required for the mental Kung Fu. They generally dance with dragon head and dragon body, a pair of real antlers. Put on the eyes, so it looks like a real dragon. The drunken dragon dance from the love fort is more like an improved tool, which done without planning. The steps are not deliberately arranged. The dancers pick up the wooden dragon and move freely. During dancing, if the dragon dancers become sober, the man holding liquor bottle will make him drunken again and then someone spray liquor on him to sober him up. The dancing drunken dragon and dancing lion are often combined together. One is the king of mountain, the other is the king of the sea. Mountain and sea, drunk and sober, gongs and drums. 
What a soul! Under the paw of King, the lion fell dizzy, and became a drunken lion. Who says women are weaker than men? Love fought drunken dragon team became innovation. A women's drunken dragon team has been set up so far. Women also can dance well. After a burst of gongs and drums, the two drunken dragons finally meet at the intersection. They applaud to encourage each other. They drink mouth of liquor, early intoxication, wooden dragon dancing. Only on the Buddha day can we have a chance to enjoy them at the same time. After a day's bustle, the villagers still want to enjoy more. Two teams are having a dinner at the base. After that, drunken dragon dance again to face the audience eyes, dancing and singing, drinking and eating, friends and relatives, old and young get together. The clan men come all the way from Hawaii to this grand event in Changzhou. Huang Weiye not only took part in the honoring ancestors. But also appear at dinner on the Buddha's day. I'm Wang Weiye. I'm from Changzhou, Sichuan. In 1983, I immigrated to Hawaii. I'm from Changzhou, Sichuan. In 1983, I immigrated to Hawaii. I'm from Changzhou, Sichuan. In 1983, I immigrated to Hawaii. I'm from Changzhou, Sichuan. In 1983, I immigrated to Hawaii. I'm from Changzhou, Sichuan. In 1983, I immigrated to Hawaii. I'm from Changzhou, Sichuan. In 1983, I immigrated to Hawaii. I'm from Changzhou, Sichuan. In 1983, I immigrated to Hawaii. I'm from Changzhou, Sichuan. In 1983, I immigrated to Hawaii. I'm from Changzhou, Sichuan. In 1983, I immigrated to Hawaii. 即係經常翻嚟啊，翻嚟製造啊，同埋見下啲同學啊、鄉親啊，同埋翻嚟即係放下假啦，算係啦。即係我哋嗰邊已經幾十年啦，始終都係呢度始終係我哋家鄉，所以即係每年我都會翻嚟嘅。Working in Hong Kong in his early years, Huang Zhongjun. Who returned to Changzhou after retirement is a versatile and fun old man in the village. He can sing and dance, also can row a boat. He said, setting up the team of drunken dragon, he also organized the villagers to row the boats again. The Changzhou legend boat originates from the traditional dragon boat culture in China. It is another unique characteristic for custom of Changzhou village. The Changzhou legend boat has a history of at least more than 100 years. At the Huang Ancestral Temple, preserves the oldest legend boat, which has 74 years of history. 传说就话有只鸡冠龙鸡马龙个龙舟。咁嗰兩隻龍舟咧掘得好快嘅，掘得好快咧，唔知話去到嗰個面笪地方啊沉咗落去咧，結果就攞唔翻，即係攞開嗰度啊攞唔翻攞唔翻咧，諗住我哋就話，哦嗰只兩隻兩隻龍舟唔係好啦，咁我哋就唔唔唔玩龍舟啦，就玩仙艇啦，咁啊結果嗰條村一條去流傳落來，嗰個仙艇流傳落來到而家。On every dragon boat festival, after the reappearance of the legend boat, Changzhou people hold legend boat events and Sijiao Weaver. On each boat, there are twenty players called Pa Zai. They do not compete with each other because of the safety first. They row for entertainment. After rowing boat, Huang Zhongjun also organized the dinner. Everyone have fun. Nowadays, because of the change of geographical environment and the development of social comedy, the skills of making boats, rowing boats, and the maintenance die out. The inheritance of legend boat is in danger. In September 2016. Zhongshan Municipal Government includes legend boats into the sixth batch of the Municipal Intangible Cultural Heritage List. Wang Hua Guo, who worked in Hong Kong in his early years, started from car instructor. Now he works between Zhongshan and Hong Kong. 
to increase connection among the members of Huang clan. Huang Weiye, who settled in Hawaii, returned to offer a sacrifice to his ancestor alone when he visited the village and came to the essential house, mentioning his children in America reluctant to come back. He felt lonely and sad. Seventeen years old, Huang Zhongjun left home for half of his life. When returning to Changzhou, he is still called his nickname Jun Zai, kindly by the elders. Someone left home young and returned old, and his hair turned grave, though his accent unchanged. In the 700 years history of Changzhou, Due to the continuous branding and innovation of the clan, a lot of talents came out generation after generation. In the Huang Ancestral Temple of Changzhou Village, there are many ornaments recording the history of Changzhou. The carved fresco on the roof, poems cut in the central hall, the wooden dragon placed on the table, the ancestors' tablets. In addition to their historical venue, the more important is to remind the descendants to come back to their roots, never to forget the characteristics and folk culture of the hometown. Inheritance and remembrance of the past are also the characters of Chinese legend.